and barbecue. <laughs> we celebrate our independence. Now, celebrate the ideals of the Declaration, um, that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. You know, read the Declaration of Independence that day. Uh, learn something about it, and that's what I try to do. I try to promote those ideals on that day um, and, and and get people to think about it in that, in that way and not think about what you're going to barbecue that day. Listen, I have to ask you, you're a high-class historian, and I know nothing. Who did, who wrote, who created the first history book well that, that, you can all you can go back to the ancient greeks and rome and romans uh for that i mean there's there's some there's some great ancient historians people have always people have always done that and when we find things in the ancient world ancient burial grounds where they've scratched their history on the walls of a cave or you know the native americans had had these belts and they put you know with these beads and they they charted their history now, people have always done that have always looked to the past and honored their ancestors and, and different civilizations and different societies have different ways of doing that i mean i've traveled widely in vietnam and other other parts of the world is that they have their ways of doing it and we have our ways of doing it. western civilization again um we, we've we've done a lot more about up writing books i mean look at the bible the whole the bible is 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 a history book particularly the old testament so this idea has been around for thousands of years and it's very important that we continue to do that and even though people have different opinions on history and what it means, that's okay. Diversity of opinion is good, and it's good to have a good argument about it. But it's, what's important is we keep it going and continue. Are to you learn going to go to Milwaukee? Go to Milwaukee?